perfect mashed potato is made by cooking your potato just till it's done and then ricing it through a potato ricer. That's gonna give you the fluffiest mashed potato you're ever gonna get and then season it with the things that you wanna put in there. The big thing for me is, is if you want nice light whipped potatoes, you gotta use hot ingredients and whip it for a, a, a short amount of time. My trick is after boiling them, I drain them and I put the colander back on the pot to dry the potatoes a little bit. And then I run them through either a food mill or a ricer and then I add just a pinch of horseradish to it. Really good potatoes, Yukons, Reds, uh, and, and not, you know, 25 ingredients. Butter, milk, salt and pepper. Don't add cold milk. Uh, adding cold milk or milk uh, will kill the potatoes though. They'll bind them up. Um, so warm your uh, milk and your, and your butter up before adding it. And then the good old fashioned ricer. This is the time of year to bust out the ricer. Uh, potatoes like to soak up that salt. So if you don't salt that water, um, they're not gonna have a lot of flavor towards the end. So that'll work that flavor in. Then the thing that I do is once those potatoes are done, I drain them, I put them back in that hot pan. So I let them steam for a good five minutes in that hot pan that I cooked them in without the water to get rid of the rest of the water so they're nice and dry. I actually put sour cream into mine and then I leave them on a double boiler on the oven and tent it with aluminum foil. You have to use a ricer and you have to have hot cream and hot melted butter. Makes the mashed potatoes really light and fluffy. You can mix them all by hand then. You don't have to put them in the mixer. 